Learning is an exciting journey that accompanies us day after day. In this video we will try to better understand some words and topics that you may already know. Remember that. The journey to knowledge always begins by learning to listen. Today we will talk about, Arrow de Brew model. In mathematical economics, the Arrow de Brew model is a theoretical general equilibrium model. It posits that under certain economic assumptions, convex preferences, perfect competition, and demand independence, there must be a set of prices such that aggregate supplies will equal aggregate demands for every commodity in the economy. The model is central to the theory of general, economic, equilibrium and it is often used as a general reference for other microeconomic models. It was proposed by Kenneth Arrow, Gerard de Brew in 1954, and Lionel W. Mackenzie independently in 1954, with later improvements in 1959. The AD model is one of the most general models of competitive economy and is a crucial part of general equilibrium theory as it can be used to prove the existence of general equilibrium, or Walrasian equilibrium, of an economy. In general, there may be many equilibria. Arrow, 1972, and Abreu, 1983, were separately awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics for their development of the model. Mackenzie however was not awarded. Formal Statement the contents of both theorems fundamental theorems of welfare economics are old beliefs in economics. Arrow and Debreu have recently treated this question with techniques permitting proofs. Gerard Debreu, Valuation Equilibrium and Pareto Optimum, 1954 This statement is precisely correct, once there were beliefs, now there was knowledge. But more was at stake. Great scholars change the way that we think about the world and about what and who we are. The Arrow de Brew model, as communicated in theory of value changed basic thinking, and it quickly became the standard model of price theory. It is the benchmark model in finance, international trade, public finance, transportation, and even macroeconomics. In rather short order it was no longer as it is in Marshall, Hicks, and Samuelson, rather it became as it is in theory of value. Hugo Sonnenschein Remarks at the Debreu Conference, Berkeley, 2005. This section follows the presentation in, which is based on, intuitive description of the Arrow Debreu model. The Arrow Debreu model models an economy as a combination of three kinds of agents the households, the producers, and the market. The households and producers transact with the market, but not with each other directly. The households possess endowments bundles of commodities they begin with, which one may think of as inheritance. For the sake of mathematical clarity, all households are required to sell all their endowment to the market at the beginning. If they wish to retain some of the endowment, they would have to repurchase from the market later. The endowments may be working hours, use of land, tons of corn, etc. The households possess proportional ownerships of producers, which can be thought of as joint stock companies. The profit made by producer. Backslash display style J is divided among the households in proportion to how much stock each household holds for the producer. Backslash display style J. Ownership is imposed at the beginning, and the households may not sell, buy, create, or discard them. The households receive a budget, as the sum of income from selling endowments and dividend from producer profits. The households possess preferences over bundles of commodities, which under the assumptions given, makes them utility maximizers. The households choose the consumption plan with the highest utility that they can afford using their budget. The producers are capable of transforming bundles of commodities into other bundles of commodities. The producers have no separate utility functions. Instead, they are all purely profit maximizers. The market is only capable of choosing a market price vector, which is a list of prices for each commodity, which every producer and household takes, there is no bargaining behavior every producer and household is a price taker. The market has no utility or profit. Instead, the market aims to choose a market price vector such that, even though each household and producer is maximizing their own utility and profit, their consumption plans and production plans harmonize. That is, the market clears. 
In other words, the market is playing the role of a Walrasian auctioneer. Thank you for listening to our lesson. We hope you liked it. We would be happy if you would help us by liking this video. This way you can get these topics to many other people. If you want to continue learning new topics, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. A thousand thanks.